WTI crude futures held the recent decline to around $73 per barrel on Friday and were set to lose about 5% this week as signs of defusing tensions in the Middle East eased supply disruption worries. Recent reports indicate ongoing negotiations for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. Hamas has stated that it is currently reviewing the proposed agreement. Traders are optimistic that a truce in Gaza could put an end to healthy attacks on Red Sea shipping, which have been causing disruptions in global trade and oil flows from the region. Contradicting this, a Qatari official has stated that there is no ceasefire in place. Meanwhile, OPEC Plus has decided to maintain its existing production policy, continuing with output cuts of 2.2 million barrels per day throughout the first quarter. On the demand side, the EIA predicts a significant increase in global oil demand, estimating a rise of 2 million barrels per day in 2024. This figure is notably higher than the earlier forecast of 1.24 million barrels per day. The Federal Reserve's decision to maintain the benchmark overnight interest rate between 5.25 and 5.50 percent, coupled with Chair Jerome Powell's indications of potential rate decreases, is anticipated to stimulate economic growth. This shift is expected to contribute to an increase in oil demand, introducing an additional element to the dynamics of price fluctuations. However, the direction of oil prices is not solely dependent on supply and demand mechanics. A critical external factor is the potential ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. Should a ceasefire be achieved, it could reduce geopolitical tensions, leading to a stabilization or modest dip in oil prices as the geopolitical risk premium decreases. Given the current market conditions, the short-term outlook for oil markets appears bearish. From a daily technical perspective, the oil price plunge occurred when sellers crossed to the weak side of the 50-day moving average at $74. This level is new resistance. A sustained move under the 50-day moving average could lead to a quick test of the static support at the $72 level. Prices could consolidate if this level is violated. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to support the channel if you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.